Simon talking about maybe firstly about the aviation and why did you choose to be in this field because I know there's a really interesting story behind it about your talents hobbies and simulators yes I've had a passion for flying since my my lovely wife bought me a voucher for flying uh, that was back in 2003 four something like that uh, and I've just uh, enjoyed it ever since really I went on to little small airplanes and from small airplanes to big airplanes yeah, so. And I heard a little rumor about someone building their own simulator. Yeah, that was an idea by myself. Uh, I managed to get some uh, some parts from different various countries to build this simulator, and I wanted a, a real more natural one, 737. So that's what I did. I built a 737-800 in my, my garage at home. Okay, so we could say it's definitely a real passion. Very much, yes. I see. And. Um, what do you do normally for life? Because I know pilot is just trained to be a pilot, you're not a pilot yet. Yes, my, uh, my profession at the moment, I have my own business here in Doncaster, which is in Yorkshire. Uh, that's doing uh, Audis, VWs, see at Skodas. I used to work for the company Volkswagen uh, and Audi. So obviously it's my passion as well. Okay, so it's all about technology. Ta I, and like, the speed. I love technology. <laughs> and technology. The speed. Yes, and the speed. Um, <coughs> And talking about Lithuania, it's just the first few days you're here, fourth day, isn't it? This is the fourth day. I came and arrived Monday. Sorry, I arrived Sunday, but my first day was Monday. Okay, fair enough. So talking about Baltic Aviation Academy, I know we're in the well-known name, we're trying to be, but how did you hear about us? Internet. Internet. Like everything, yeah, internet. Also YouTube. Yeah, so we, uh, we went on the internet. I wanted to do a type rating, uh, Boeing 737, the full course, the 300 to 900. So I searched the internet and found yourselves there. Okay, and why exactly this plane? Why exactly Boeing? I've always liked Boeing. Uh, Airbus came along a lot, a lot later. So Boeing's the proper field, the rake and, you know, reach and absolutely brilliant. So Boeing's for me, not Airbus. And as far as I know, you already tried the simulator and you've been inside. And absolutely. Did you enjoy it? How did, did you like it? Well, I went in Monday night just for a visual look. And actually the guy that was uh, operating said, if you want to fly, you can fly. Okay. Obviously not motion, so I, uh, I took the opportunity and I did very well and I really enjoyed it and it was so real, That's so true. real. That's good to know. And uh, why exactly did you choose Baltic Aviation Academy? It's the price, I mean obviously everything costs a lot of money these days and I just thought, you know, this is very affordable, really affordable. So that's the main attraction, absolutely. And any specific things that interest you? Maybe, you know, our kind of a communication way, any videos or anything like that? Communications, I scouted YouTube. YouTube uh, was one of the things that inspired me to contact you because of the, uh, the quality of the, the training from the guy that does all the engine fires, the engine failures. Superb. So, of course, then that's when I got in touch. And talking about Lithuania as a country, because a lot of people still ask and wonder, you know, where it is, what it is and... and know nothing about it did you have any fears did you have any threats did you have any doubts oh, not doubts or fears I was a little worried because I don't know Lithuania at all even though I've dealt with a company in Lithuania for the last five to ten years I don't know the country at all I never have done my own work but looking at this you know it's superb it's for absolutely well it's first days do you have any kind of specific expectations or towards your your time in Lithuania, your time at our school, your studies? Expectations? Well, I, I, I know I'm definitely going to pass the course because <laughs> the, the training is so good. But uh, no, I'm just going to take it very cool. I see. And we're talking about your leisure time in Lithuania. Is there anything specific you would like to do and see besides behind, I mean, this yeah. beauty? I'd like, to, <laughs> I'd like to see the old town. I'd like to see some of the scenery, the castles. Uh, it, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's, yeah, I can't wait. I'd love to. I'd like to uh, eat out in the middle of the town. No, that's definitely yeah, going to be a, that a nice That sounds very time. interesting. So. And talking about, uh, so far you've been working with our instructors and our, our technique and equipment. How do you find that? Is everything okay? Fantastic. Anything? Do you enjoy the... Absolutely. Brilliant. That's good to know. Yeah, the instructor that we have, <coughs> he, he's, he's, so, he's so laid back, he's, he's very good, he's, he's excellent at teaching, his English is very good. Uh, yeah, very good, enjoying it. That's and it's this only the fourth day, remember? That's the fourth day. Well, yeah. hopefully not just the honeymoon period. No, <laughs> no, this is, uh, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it at the moment. 
That's good. That's really good to know. Also, we're always proud of ourselves that we try to take care of students' life altogether. Mm. Not just taking it to school, but we always try to show the real life and take care of every step. Do you feel that you're being taken care of fine? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. No matter what you want or where you want to go, the help's there. It's absolutely brilliant. So, discussing a pilot as a profession, what do you think is important to have skills or in your heart to be a pilot, to be a successful pilot? Yeah, to be a successful pilot, you really need skills. You definitely need skills, which can, you know, you can get them. You can learn, you can adapt, uh, you need passion, and it has to be from your heart. If you want to do this, you've got to have heart. Just go for it, yeah. And talking about the commitment, because obviously it's a really big decision to make and you need to invest a lot of time and money. Absolutely. Uh, was it hard for you to make the decision? Yes, it was, because as, as anywhere, money's tight. So, you know, you have to make a, a, a massive commitment, a big decision, lots of hours. There's, there's a lot of commitment in hours and living away from home. You know, so, yeah, you've got to, uh, you've got to give it some thought, definitely. And let's say I would be a student who's thinking of maybe becoming a pilot, you know. Maybe I could, There's, I have a passion, I have the knowledge, I have the interest and you know, it's a lot of money yeah. and a lot of people are talking me out of it. What would you tell them? Tell them to ignore, I'd ignore that because you know, if it's something you want to do, go for it, why not? Yeah, if you've got the money, the passion, the time, mainly the money, but money, you can, you can find money. You know, I found money and I earned it and, and that's how I did it. But yeah, if you've, if you've got the passion and you want to do it, don't let people put you off. Please go for it. You, you live once, enjoy it. Very true. Well, Simon, thank you very much for our conversation. You're and welcome. I know you're going to be in Vilnius for four weeks all yes. together for a training. Yeah. So I think we will be really happy to catch up with you after four weeks. Yes, to see and my progression. To exactly see how well you're doing. Yeah. Are you still enjoying it as much as you are now? Yes, I Hopefully am. you will. I am. And I look forward to talking to you in the future. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.